Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your a weekly reading for a Libra. How are you guys, Libra? Hope you're well. Let's see what's happening with you, the overall energy around you. So this is general, take it how it resonates, leave the rest behind. If something doesn't resonate, it's not yours, then just let it go. Okay, Libra, overall energy surrounding you. Libra. So we have clean it up. Maybe some things that need cleaning up, clearing up. Some of you could be just cleaning your house. <laughs> could be clearing things out of your life. Clearing the cobwebs by the looks of this, uh, this elk here holding this um, feather duster up so high. <laughs> clearing out the cobwebs. Okay. Could be just clearing things out you no longer need. So a Libra. What does Libra need to know? Clarity, please, for a Libra overall energy what is it that you need to know about this overall energy libra what do i need to know about this overall energy libra there we go yeah slow and steady wins the race the taurus virgo capricorn energy it's about planning for success someone taking their time this is someone who can be a little bit apprehensive okay this is often a person who can be apprehensive uh, so they kind of take their time it's somebody who does their due diligence okay clearing things up clearing things out oops this card was the next one yeah so i do see someone feeling a little more enthusiastic maybe speeding up a little i see the page of wands this is someone who's kind of focused on themselves doing their own thing this is someone who takes their time maybe <clears throat> there's something they're not ready or they just started something we'll see yeah someone who's kind of focused on their self clearing things up about self more than likely sometimes it's a person who's younger but i feel like it's a communication something enthusiastic oops these cards went flying libra what does libra need to know yeah so there you are you're the empress oh yes <laughs> lovely energy there libra yeah you know it the birth of something new you could be clearing someone out of your life who's not ready for a relationship that's moving too slow someone who's kind of focused on themselves you may be just changing your focus too yeah just maybe just changing your focus by cleaning up your house okay getting ready for something new lovely oh yeah i see that beautiful i see financial stability safety security yeah this is beautiful energy this is very stable okay i feel like you got someone who's been focused on their money kind of taking their time dragging their feet a little moving too slow so i feel this is yourself here you're moving away from that energy uh, i do think there's something to do with uh, a partnership two people looking out for each other's best interest you may feel this person doesn't have your best interest at heart okay someone has their own best interest at heart here but we all know everyone has to kind of do their own part that way it's about partnering up being stable two people looking out for each other so something to do with a partnership of some sort yeah someone's moving away to avoid a disaster so this is something here to do with someone who's kind of learned some lessons from the past it's a person it's the empress who knows right someone's moving too slow they're not ready or they're just all about themselves focused on that wand they're not stable maybe not reliable so you're taking the lessons you learned moving on moving forward calmly and peacefully but i gotta tell you it could be a person coming towards you oh yeah we've got someone who's got some regrets someone's regretting something could be a little guilt too okay could be some unfounded fears as well but i actually feel like what you have someone here is stressing out about something and it has to do with someone moving on someone's regretting now it could be because somebody has moved on or maybe this person's moving on you know because they're a little bit worried about something there's definitely someone focused a lot on their money see there's a connection between two people oh yeah someone's regretting i do see an energy of something new coming in so there's some kind of choice in love sometimes it's an energy of someone you know it's a, sometimes it's a deep friendship or um could be anything but it, sometimes choosing what you love too uh, something very creative it's about changing the focus starting something here but it really does look like there's someone who's moving on, moving away from someone, taking the lessons they've learned, maybe even relocating, changing jobs, moving a business. 
okay? But there's a lot of stress and worry, maybe even some sleepless nights here. But there's love here. See, we've got someone here who's, I feel, you know, one, it's a dating card, but it's a person who's kind of holding back a little bit. They're a little wishy-washy. Someone exploring their feelings. Somebody here is exploring their feelings. So, like I say, it's a person who's a little apprehensive about how they feel. Okay, but there's this bond and connection here between two people and someone's stressing out. I think it's unfounded fear. Okay, I'm not so sure it's the Empress, but it could be. The Empress generally just, the Empress is all about balance, staying balanced. Very gracious, very kind, beautiful healing energy. So it's a very healing energy. One more for Libra. Now, for some of you, it is possible. This could be somebody, like I say, who's clearing things out of their life, changing their focus, getting ready for love, uh, coming around, ready to explore, ready to date, okay? Whether it be you or this person. Yeah, see, there we go. Oh, yeah, I see three of cups here. So when I see that, it's, it's positive. There's some kind of positive news. Uh, there could be another person involved, but I feel like we have as a person who is being cautious, they're playing it safe. This is a person who plays it safe. They have everything they need, but they don't have love, you see. Someone's financially stable and they have everything. Someone has some regrets for not partnering up with someone here is what I feel. And it was because they had some little bit of fear. They were playing it safe, probably too safe, but nothing wrong with playing it a little bit safe. But the Nine of Cups is someone who, they have everything. They need that one more cup filled. But it's I feel there's someone here who's just a little bit on the cautious side. So they're exploring their feelings, you know, thinking about love. Uh, I do see some positive news. Time to get out. See, someone's getting ready to get out and meet other people. Possibly even relocating. Someone may have moved on and they're just relocating as well. But there's a lot of stress. Someone's stressing here. About, you know, it's an energy, you know, we know the Empress. The Empress offers one cup, nothing more. Because somebody else here isn't offering anything. It's a person who hides behind the mask, okay? Um, yeah, it's an energy of someone who wants to be indulged. And if you don't indulge the Empress, because somebody's not getting something they want here, so they're going to get it somewhere else. Um, I feel like it's the Empress, okay? Getting out, meeting new people, positive news, friends and family. Yeah. Maybe that's what happened. The Empress was ready to in meet friends and family, and this person held back a little bit. They weren't done exploring their feelings, how they felt about love. But there's definitely a bond. This is the energy of two people who were supposed to build each other up. They're supposed to look out for each other's best interests. Somebody wasn't feeling that someone had their best interest. Here for a good time, not a long time. Moving a little bit slow. But it is about apprehensive. This is someone doing their due diligence. She there. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, so there's someone weighing the pros and the cons, procrastinating, <laughs> dragging their feet. It could be an on again, off again situation too. Could be juggling. Someone may have been juggling, like I say, back and forth between a few people. But the Empress isn't having it. Okay, I can see it. That's you, Libra. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Yeah, so this is somebody here is refusing to budge, a little stubborn, maybe being a little selfish. But one thing about that's interesting is the Empress isn't budging. The Empress isn't giving in to this person because <clears throat> the Empress is protecting themselves. The Empress is staying balanced. So what's so interesting? This is someone who focuses on one thing. They focus on the wand. Uh, the Empress is balanced. The Empress focuses on lots of things, but rotates them. Focus on it for a while, focus on the next, and so on. So interesting energy there. Yeah. Somebody, this is an energy where the Empress knows something feels off, okay? Something's not right because someone's dragging their feet, they're procrastinating, or for some of you, juggling back and forth between a couple people, possibly. Yeah, so we have someone here. The Empress is looking at all the details. So the Empress is in protective mode, okay? But you know what I think? We have a person who's protecting their money. This is why they're procrastinating. A little bit of player energy here, but it's an energy where the Empress is figuring things out. Looking at all the details of this situation, figuring out the, you know, this is very logical energy. You're figuring this person out, okay? But I think that this is where they're a little bit of a player energy, uh, so you're protecting yourself. 
So it's about the details. It's about somebody uh, being logical, uh, figuring things out. This is also a person who wants to win. See, they're kind of stubborn. They kind of want things their way. Um, but they actually do want to win here. So I think we got a person who's procrastinating, trying to figure out how to fix something, how to clear something up, clean something up, uh, maybe clearing other people out of their life. Could be. We have the Empress, because that Empress is moving on. Yeah, that's what I, I can see this energy here. Somebody moving on, taking the lessons they learned. Moving towards something better. See, and someone's regretting this energy or they're just, that's a fear. Something, somebody here is, you know, making decisions based on their fear. Okay. Uh, they could be unfounded, but we'll see. Tell me about the three, uh, pardon me, the three, the Empress. Yeah. So we have someone here who's definitely changed their focus. Okay. Libra, it's yourself. You know what you wanted. You're not settling. So you've changed your focus. You're kind of just doing you. You may be creating something new, make working on your money, something to do with the business, your financial foundation, but you're not settling for somebody you can't rely on. So this is why I feel like you're taking the lessons you've learned. Uh, you're moving on, taking all that passion and energy elsewhere. Yeah. See, we've got someone regretting it here. Yeah, look at confirmation. Crazy. Yeah, see, moving on, taking the lessons learned. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the fear, too, and I feel this person's protecting themselves. They have the fear that this Empress energy, yourself, Libra, is not stable, and I feel they regret it, okay? <clears throat> so it's an energy of two people are both learning something here. I can see it. Somebody didn't take a lot of time to get to know somebody, too feel like you have somebody who was back and forth, on and off. They weren't taking any real time to get to know you. So there's some kind of regrets. You both have, may have some regrets here, but, you know, it's an energy of a little bit of fear. Somebody may actually be feeling guilty here. If somebody was juggling, feeling a little guilty. So it's somebody distancing themselves. The communication is becoming more distant. Okay, uh, there we go with the uh, justice. So it's an energy of someone here. It's about balance, doing things right. Uh, it's an energy where somebody looks at this and goes, something isn't right here, it's off. You know, it's an energy of somebody not coming in right, doing all the right things. So as we know, the Empress, come to me right or don't come to me at all. Yeah, it could be an energy of someone here, something to do with a commitment or marriage. You know, it's about balance between two people, whether they're right for each other. Someone may have, like I say, didn't take enough time to get to know somebody. But there's definitely distance and communication here as well. See, there it is. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise. Someone was being stubborn. They were refusing to uh, cooperate and to compromise. Someone might have been a little bit worried that two people weren't compatible, um, you know, that you weren't right for each other. But I also see this Empress focusing on a new path, creative pursuit. So there's something there. I feel the birth of something new, something creative. So it's like you're on this other path here. You might be a little worried about it, whether you're on the right path. Okay. Yeah. Could be a choice. Like I say, may have been a third party uh, for some of you. Somebody may have been, like I say, back and forth between two people. It's often a person who's just not ready to commit, right? Not ready for marriage. So it's like a person who moves away to avoid a disaster. But there's, you know, like I say, unfounded fears, regrets, a little bit of guilt. It all depends on the situation. So we have the lovers. Why is this here? Little Gemini energy. Yeah, see, someone's indecisive. As I said, Gemini, you can be too, Libra. Yeah, so there's an energy. We got a couple people here, a little indecision, two people failing to recognize, okay? Uh, two people unable to make, this is someone who's unable to make a decision. They're procrastinating. Now the Empress is moving on. It's someone who's taken too long uh, to clear things up, clear things out. Now, I think the Empress is clearing the way to go down this path too. See, moving away from something, taking the lessons learned, uh, doing what's right for you. You're, do, you're doing you with that, with that Queen of Wands energy, very focused. Yeah, and I feel like, too, it's the way this person, maybe they, you know, like I say, back and forth here for a good time, not a long time. Uh, you may feel like this person's a little bit of a player. So I feel like you've kind of focused on it and figured it out here. Okay, but I got to tell you, I, I feel both people feel a little bit of regret here. Uh, there's definitely an energy of indecision. Someone's failing to see something. 
Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Yeah, let's see. We got someone who kept their feelings to themselves. Someone would rather see. We got a person stubborn here, refusing to share their feelings and emotions. It could be you, it could be this person. It's the card of someone who'd rather drink their own tears than tell somebody how they feel. Someone's failed to recognize, to see. Okay, now it could be yourself and you failed to see that this person was kind of exploring their feelings, maybe needed a little more time. But it's also where you may have failed to recognize this person had another choice. Okay. Um, and it, it like I say, there's some you may have failed to even recognize this person had a you know, they were indecisive. They were a little wishy washy, you see. This is someone who comes in, they come and they go. They're exploring their feelings, but they have a tendency to kind of hold back. You're holding back, I feel, because of it. You're not sharing anything more with this person. You're just changing your focus. There you are. Shower your abundance upon me. So you didn't get something you wanted. No, you either wanted to introduce to friends and family, maybe go out in public. Could be a lot of different things. Like you're open. You're, you're waiting for this person. You want something. Uh, wish fulfillment. But they're not giving you what you want, you see. So you're not giving them what they want. And that's what's happening here. But there's that birth of something new. See, getting out, meeting new people. This person's a little worried about that too, I feel. But I do think they've been procrastinating. Some of you might be too in that energy of just weighing the pros and the cons of a situation as you kind of figure things out. Uh, I can see some of you juggling a lot right now, working a lot um, and juggling. Uh, you're looking at being very stable financially. Something to do with uh, a legacy, uh, something financial, okay? So you might be um, kind of weighing the pros and the cons of another situation here. Something to do with saving money, okay, to build that legacy. Oh, there's definitely a change of focus. Yeah, there we go. So there's an invitation. Some of you have, you're open to invitations. You're open to something new. Uh, so I can see this person. I can see their energy. Why, oh, there it is. There was a little bead there. Oh, that goes in the moonstone. So I was like, why won't that lay flat? And there was something under it. So there we go. We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is the start. You're open to something. You wanted something. You wanted this person to offer you something solid, some kind of a commitment, you see? But you didn't get it. So you're not giving them what they want. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. You're refusing to budge. You're some stubborn energy. <laughs> Queen of Staves, <laughs> Empress. Mm -hmm. You don't want to focus on me. You don't want to give me all of your attention. Give me the attention I deserve. Then you'll just focus on another person. There you go. Something new. Looks like you got something coming in too. This person's worried about it. I can see it. Because they procrastinated. They're taking too long. But they are a person who, you know, like I say, apprehensive. They're doing their due diligence. There's something that this person's trying to protect. But you're trying to protect you. Okay? Yeah. You're looking out for yourself here. I can see it. And you figured something out. You feel this person's a player. They're juggling. Uh, but it is about the facts. And I actually feel this is someone who generally wants to win. Okay? So they could be a little sneaky or up to something here. You know, you may feel that energy. So it's when you know it, you know, you know it. You're looking at it. Yeah, so you're focused on your money, business. See, look at that. Financial pursuits, business. See, this person's not a partner. You feel like they don't have your best interest. So you're doing what's in your best interest. I think you have this person's best interest at heart too. I do. Um, I, I feel as though, but you know, they didn't give you what you wanted. They offered one little sippy cup. And they kept all their feelings to themselves, so that now that's you. You know, this is how you're going to be, too, I feel. Um, I definitely see a healing energy, but being open to new. See, there it is, the confirmation, see? They didn't, they're, nobody's getting what they want. Why? Because nobody's sharing their feelings. Uh, but I feel at some point you may have sacrificed and given to this person, okay? A little bit, but yeah, if they aren't going to give you what you want, they're not getting what they want. <laughs> We definitely got stubborn energy, though. But, yeah, I do see you getting something you want, though. Um, getting out invitations. I can see this. See, there's that. You've got a, something new coming here, or an opportunity. It's solid. It's reliable. It's what you wanted from this person. You wanted to maybe go out in public, meet their friends and family. So now you're going out to meet someone new, and it looks like you will get something here. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, look at that. So you've got somebody here. Yeah, it could be this person too, looking at that energy. See, they're not getting what they want. They were focused too much on their money. And I feel this is someone who was kind of breadcrumbing, wishy-washy. They would kind of communicate with you because we know the Page of Pentacles is someone who wants to be indulged. They, they reach out and they communicate, but what they want is for you to really offer them something. They want you to indulge them, but you're not doing it. So this person's looking at it. They're kind of getting it. And I'm sure uh, the word indulging and, you know, uh, isn't going through their head, but that's what the energy is. They're looking at it. They're looking at the details at why this wasn't successful, why you're moving on. So you're distancing yourself from this person. You're moving towards somebody. You're maybe even feeling, you know what, this person's not even right for me, you know, they're maybe not even right because they don't come in right. They're not treating you right. This person knows that they didn't treat you right. I think they have a lot of regret because I actually think the two of you really could have gone down this path. I see uh, things you have in common. Okay. I see a lot of things that you have in common. And it's an energy too where we've got two people who are, I can see, somewhat different but yet somewhat the same. Uh, but what I'm seeing is we have two people here. It's about collaborating and what I see is two people who have uh, skills. Okay, so there's this person's acknowledging something. You could have been the one, right? You were actually, they weren't treating you right so you've moved on. So they're acknowledging it. But it's also an energy where uh, you have certain skills that you're really good at and they do. And that's when you come together and collaborate and build something new. See, this person blew it. So, yeah, they're trying to clean things up. They're clearing things out. But I feel like you are as well. It's the overall energy. You're focused on other things. Um, business, partnerships, maybe getting out, meeting new people. This is an energy of, could be a bank, money, but it's also an energy of place where people congregate, where they spend money. It's a safe place. This is about your financial safety, security. You, you don't feel safe with this person because they're uh, rushing in and out of other relationships or they're dragging their feet. Uh, they procrastinate. They're not sharing a lot of emotions. So uh, let's do clean it up. Why is this here? What's being cleaned up here? Oh, yeah. This is something emotional. So it's an energy of somebody who lost control of a situation. So there's something here about control. So I feel as though you're taking your power back. You're the one with the power, obviously, because the Empress is here. You're the one with the power. Okay, so I feel as though you're taking your power back and you're moving on. You're very strong. I can see your energy. Very strong. Uh, very determined. You don't give up. <laughs> they see all this. They're acknowledging it. But you know what I feel has happened? Two people didn't acknowledge each other. They didn't acknowledge the positive energy, the successes that you could have had between you, uh, the things you had in common. And I feel there wasn't a lot of communication. I feel like it was distance. Like this is somebody who would just kind of come in and, you know, it was on and off. But I think, you know, it's an energy where you kind of figured it out here. This person's a player. And I, I don't know if this person realizes they were or what they were up to. It'll be different for everyone. Um, so don't don't uh, look at the facts first before you make a decision. Don't accuse somebody of that till you know for sure. Okay? Always think about that. Sometimes people, like I say, you know, sometimes it's unfounded, but take it as it resonates. Only though it's all about what's actually true. Okay, so yeah, this person's definitely looking at that, why it wasn't successful. They didn't offer you anything solid. It was breadcrumbs, you know, they're back and forth. Maybe they were juggling. They're also, a, I definitely see them as a procrastinator too. Uh, I, and they're likely focused a lot on their finances as well. They could be a business owner, maybe both of you are. But that power is you taking your power back moving away, clearing things out. Some of you may even be relocating. You may even, if, if it's an energy where you were in a relationship, marriage, or a commitment of any kind, if there was one, it looks like there wasn't, but if there was, it's possible for some of you. Some of you may be um, getting rid of things, clearing things out, and moving on. Just taking what you need with you, okay? Yeah. Yeah, see, this person didn't get what they wanted. They didn't get the emotional fulfillment. They wanted you to fill their last cup. See, they didn't fill your cups. See, so this person, they have everything, I feel. They're, I feel they're, you know, they're stable. 
Um, they're just slow. Um, too slow, I feel, especially with that Queen of Wands showing up. They were dragging their feet just a little bit too much here. Yeah, so I feel as though, like I say, they wanted you to fill their cup. They wanted you to tell you how you felt first. They'd rather drink their own tears. I feel like both of you were kind of in that energy. And I got to be honest, you both did that. Okay. Um, it's possible you shared some feelings with them. You may have offered them a cup, but yeah. Nobody got what they wanted. They see it too. They mm -hmm. never got what they wanted. They didn't give because they didn't give you what you wanted. You just wanted that emotional energy. You wanted to know if this how this person felt about you. I think this person failed to recognize that. But I think there's a you know, it's an indecision. I think both of you failed to recognize, you know, certain things about each other that should have been acknowledged, talked about. Okay. So let's have a look at this back and forth energy. I see an E. There's the fish. Oh, it's not a fish. Pardon me. It looked like it for a moment. Yeah, it's the wisdom. Not yourself being very wise, seeing things. You're seeing something here, right? This is your wisdom, inner wisdom, because you are the empress. You have that inner wisdom. You're, you can see here that this person, something feels off. Okay. Yeah, see, you could have been just right for this person. See, they should have offered you a commitment. I mean, at least a commitment to uh, go down that path, to introduce to friends and family, go out and do things together. You know, it seems like there was a lack of a lot of that energy. Tell me about the Empress with that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I see an N. There's the glasses, the seeing. See, you're seeing things clearly. Eyes wide open there. So you've just changed your focus. Yeah, I see the S. Have a look at the justice. So we have, yeah, see, there was a broken heart. See, a little bit of fear, maybe even unfounded. But yeah, there's a broken heart. This person was, this was a disappointment. It was very disappointing. A little heartache there for sure. So we have the, the K, a G, a couple more on that. There's the key. Yeah, see the key is doing things right, playing fair. They didn't treat you right. I think this person knows there was some hurt here. K, W, and G. So let's have a look. Yeah, it's funny. Three, and there's three here. So The world is interesting because that tells me somebody possibly is moving on. But it could be initial, maybe, you know, where you're headed, where you're going. Tell me about the three of pentacles. Yeah, another N. There's the judgment. There's the energy, the Libra, the communication, see? There's some things that were judged that, you know, needed to be acknowledged. A little bit of a wake-up call. This person's gotten a bit of a wake-up call. You took your power back. You took off on this person, I feel. They were trying to control something. See, they were fighting to control something. Um, trying to go slow. Trying to um, not share feelings and emotions too much here. But yeah, no one got what they wanted. Power. So there's the book, the open book, a little Taurus energy here. So it's about being an open book. <clears throat> but it's about how someone conducts themselves, traditions and habits, uh, the way somebody conducts themselves. Okay. And there's the wisdom. Yeah, we got the little owl there. So it's an energy of someone just using their inner wisdom, their knowledge to see. So it's about looking at it, seeing it, uh, making a choice about the way this person conducts themselves. Uh, somebody's trying to control something. Now, I do see that uh, that Aries, Leo, Sag energy with the Empress can be a little bit of controlling, but a lot of times it's just someone who takes their power back from somebody, okay, who's trying to take their power. So there's definitely an energy of clearing things up, maybe even a healing energy here. So let's see what this emotional fulfillment's about with this page of pentacles. Yeah, so it's something to do with communication. Feel this person wants to communicate. They want to reach out. They may reach out online or maybe through some other people, uh, possibly. Uh, could be too, like I say, you may go out someplace and run into this person. They may want to make you an offer uh, to give you what you want. They should have. I'm seeing somebody here that knows they should have. They regret not making some kind of a commitment you know, a commitment to at least cooperate and compromise to go down this path, you know, to get to know each other, spend more time together. I don't know if this is a long distance situation. 
Well, it's possible. But yeah, I can see the O and I see a J. This person may come back around. It's possible. I want a J. I also see an S and another O. Yeah. So I do see a key. So the key is communication. See, they didn't communicate. There was a lack of emotional communication, sharing of feelings. You know, you wanted something from this person. You were waiting with open arms. See, if they would have given it to you, they would have got what they wanted, you see. Filling up their cups. It's two people are supposed to fill each other's cups. Put all those cups on the table. See, it's about this person's now seeing the bigger picture. They're getting it. So see where it goes. You guys will have to let me know. But I feel like you've got other stuff going on. I feel like you've, you know, there's something to do with finances that looks good. Something creative. You're very focused. You're definitely not giving up. Okay. You're very determined about something right now. Uh, other than uh, your love life, something creative, this path you're going to go on. You have a little bit of fear, so I do think you're going to be uh, careful. You may, do, you may need to cooperate and compromise on something here uh, so you don't regret it as well. But I do see um, something that you're focused on because you're doing you right now. So that, that usually means you're, you know, there's other things going on with you. You may have other job opportunities, things like that. But I feel like it's something you're doing um, yourself for you, for your finances, um, to do with creativity. In fact, you might be ready to just move on and find another partner because I see a partner here. You could be could have been business partners with this person. Now, you either were and something didn't work out or that's what you wanted, okay? You would be a good partner, let me tell you. They're seeing it. They're acknowledging it now. But like I say, it's kind of too little, too late kind of energy here, but... I think this person's going to come back around and offer you something. They're thinking about it. They're kind of procrastinating and, you know, the usual and weighing the pros and the cons. One minute they feel like they should, the next minute they're not so sure. Okay, take care. Bye for now.